If you guys have realized that I've been making more shirtless videos, it's because my videos were originally managed by this friend of mine who sort of taking a hiatus, so now I'm free to do whatever I want in my videos. Swag. Now, I think there was a misunderstanding from one of the first videos of the year where I said that there's a new civil war that's going to go on. War doesn't mean, doesn't have to mean an army, a bunch of guns pointed at each other. It just means a conflict where one side tries to eliminate the other. And this doesn't even have to be violent or coercive in the modern contemporary sense. There's been the war on poverty, and there's the war on drugs, and now there's the war on terror, which I disagree with, but these are things to eliminate the other side. How whatever elimination is being used in that context to get rid of. It doesn't have to be violently, it could be in a positive manner. But in this case it isn't a positive manner because it's a war on terror and nobody's safe. Nobody's safe, seriously. And right now, I think that a lot of guys should realize that we're in a fascist zone right now. We can't take into account all the hierarchies and the action right now. But we don't have to be totalitarian to collapse. We just have to be really, really fascist to the point that we lose the ability to turn back. And we succumb to our own problems. Now, a totalitarian society in my eyes is a society where the hierarchies are there, but the hierarchies are black and white. You're either the one who's the archon, or you're the one that's being ruled. And that's for most socioeconomic political interactions of that society. That would be totalitarianism. Fascism, they both have something in common in the sense that the hierarchies are there and we can't keep them in account because there's so many. But in a fascist place, at least there's going to be some things where you're not involved in that hierarchy. You can practice whatever religion you want. Uh, an oppress oppressive one or a one I hate to use to use the word oppressive but I'm kinda tired right now or one that's based upon a church this could either be a positive one that can actually self-assess itself or one that is suffering from the fascist problem or the totalitarian problem itself so, you're either in the black or white zone. And the United States doesn't need to fall in its impossibilities by being this position. It just needs to be more and more fascist. And then it loses the ability to do this and probably reverse the problem. You see, the United States needs to self assess itself. That's what it needs to do needs to look at what's going on right now check its documents like the constitution and probably reverse it probably get a new form of a constitution and I know that sickens me to my stomach to advocate minarchism and all this other stuff but hey it's better than what we are dealing with now and to me that's a good thing what we need is a essentially a constitution that's not like the one now where first it was private property to an excess, then it was females' rights to an excess, then it was blacks' rights to an excess, and then it was the prohibitors getting some archons. It's not about picking and choosing 
who becomes the Archon. That's not what these amendments to the Constitution are for. You would amend articles for a Constitution because they're designed so that they're used to check the hierarchical relationships and basically keep them all in account. Keep them all in account and all amendments are for keep into account new ones so that the relationship is stable everything's in a structural flow and you know what's going on with each new mode of an archon whether it be a corporation or church or state itself that would definitely be an upgrade and if you could do that then at least everyone could have a bit of an idea of how shit like this should work. If you're going to plan these excessive stuff like states in a postmodern era, then at least do it with some self assessment in mind. I know the problem we're in is a pretty stiff one. But if we can uh, learn from our, our mistakes and try to self-assess ourselves a little bit as the days go by, then we'll be fine enough to push ourselves from this contemporary bullshit that we're facing at the moment. Yeah, I had my eyes closed the whole time, didn't I? I don't feel comfortable looking at the camera without my glasses. Anyway, this has been Mr. Ronka 7. Suck my titties. Alright.